In my Christian walk, I have countless times experienced being overwhelmed, being attacked spiritually, and come to find out I'm not the only one. Apparently, a lot of Christians experience that. You know, I guess it's part of being a Christian or being human. And along the way, I learned from a man of God a very key advice that helped me and many others gain spiritual freedom. And I would love to share this with you in this video. Now, this advice is super simple, but super powerful. All you got to do is just take a piece of paper and a pen or if you're the journaling type just you know take a journal and list all the things that are bugging you right now like if you have one specific thing write it down write down everything you feel experience or have experienced emotionally spiritually mentally physically all the symptoms I mean everything maybe even the thoughts you've thought where you probably then will find out, hang on a second, is that really me speaking? Is that God speaking? Or is that maybe even someone else speaking? But that's why you write down all these things. You know, be specific. Don't rush through it. Think about it prayerfully. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal more things to you. And just be diligent. Just write them down. So here would be an example. For example, someone who is feeling depressed. So what's the main thing you feel? Well, you feel depressed, right? What else? May maybe you feel sad uh, because you're hurt. There's a third thing, okay? So you write down depression and sadness, maybe pain and hurt, maybe because of a trauma, maybe because someone said something bad to you, maybe uh, you feel rejected, okay? So you write all those things down. Maybe there was abuse in your family. Uh, maybe uh, because of everything going on, you can't be as productive in your ministry and in your calling. So there's a blocking thing in your, of your ministry or maybe you can do a certain gift you usually float in or, or want to flow in and you know you call into it and it's just like a blockage so you write this down blocking on my gift or blocking on my ministry maybe you feel hopelessness and maybe frustrated because you have been praying and nothing is happening so you write down frustration or write down hopelessness usually depression comes with unforgiveness and bitterness towards someone or even something combined with anger or wrath if it's not dealt with or hatred and murder if it's not dealt with okay those are the little um, steps I'm not saying this has to be there with everyone being depressed I'm just giving an example of what could be there and you write all those things down and what you end up with is basically a hit list a hit list of things you're going to go after and that you're going to cast out because breaking news those things are demonic spirits they are demons that you have to go after where you you have to pick up your sword in the spirit step in your authority in Christ get your your butt out of your church chair and tell these things to go out of your life in Jesus name a Prayer like, oh Lord, please heal me. Oh Lord, please set me free of this. Is not going to do it for you. If it would work, every Christian would be free. Because I guarantee you every Christian at some point in their life prayed a prayer like that. And usually nothing happens. Why? Because God wants us to fight and to learn how to fight. Nevertheless, this is a good tip. How you can make a list, a hit list of things you can go after. Now, Obviously, I don't want you to focus on your problem. Your problem cannot help you, okay? Only Jesus can help you, obviously. But this list is not there to focus on your problem. This list is there to define what your problem is so you can kick it out and then you have time to focus on Jesus and the freedom to focus on Jesus. Now, I encourage you to take a prayer partner. If you're married, then your spouse is your prayer partner. If you're single, then you know get someone in your gender uh, if possible in your age group obviously you know sometimes helps too but you know obviously if you have a mentor or um, you know someone that you can pray with it doesn't matter you, you someone you can open up to and that can pray with you and now that you bring the whole list before God with your prayer partner you can start alone obviously and uh, as a help for the prayer I put a, a prayer guide in the description below that you can get um, it's going to send you to my email newsletter, but you, once you sign up, you can get it for free in exchange for your email address. However, you get this prayer guide 
And what you will find in there is just a repentance prayer and a renunciation prayer and some spiritual warfare prayer that will help you get your heart prepared to get the stuff out. But in a nutshell, you repent of everything, you renounce this stuff, also in your family line, and then in a nutshell, you just tell these things in Jesus' name to leave you. You really have to cut yourself loose of those things. God is not going to deliver you of your friend. If depression is your friend, God's not going to deliver you of your friend depression. But if you make depression your enemy and everything with it, God is for sure going to deliver you if, if you're willing to stay and stick with him in the process. It might be a process. That's why there's a hit list. And you go one after another, after another, after another, until the last one is gone, until you're completely free and healed and restored. This is pretty much how I deal with things that bug me, that pose a bigger, let's say, issue, or bigger, well, no, it's a bigger kind of stronghold. And also when people come to me and say, oh, this is going on in my life, I'm saying, okay, hang on a second, hang on a second. Well, let's make a list now. This is there, this is there, this is there. Okay, well, here's your, here's your homework. Let's start with the first one together. Let's do this thing. And this is what you can do at home. This is, some, this is not something super spiritual. It's actually very practical and it's effective. And it gives you also a motivation because once you feel some movement going and you will feel some movement going, you know, because God is going to see your heart. If you're 100% in it, do you think God... <laughs> The, the God that died for you on the cross exactly for those things so that you would be free of those things would not be 100% in? I mean, he already is 100% committed. And you come in 100%. Man, Holy Spirit is just going to go. And I just want to encourage you. Holy Spirit is going to touch you. Holy Spirit is going to move. And I want to pray for you here right now, super spontaneously. In Jesus' name, Father and Holy Spirit, I pray for encouragement and for faith i stir up faith in the listener right now in jesus name in jesus name i bind and break now any doubt any fear of demons any fear of prayer any fear of spiritual warfare i bind and break it right now in jesus name and i release god's freedom and god's restoration in jesus mighty name god i thank you for breakthrough i thank you for a mighty move and mighty testimonies out of this holy spirit please please move and I thank you that you will give victory after victory for the people that listen to this and that, that cling to you and cling to your word. In Jesus' name, I release the blood of Christ right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, let me know if this actually helped you in the comments below. Let me know what, what happened. Check out my prayer guide in the description below. Sign up in exchange for your email address. And if you want, I see you in the next video. Be blessed.